HP. Thinkers are great, but doers change the world. This is the River Simple car, which was launched last year in London. It's meant for city streets with a maximum speed of 50 miles per hour. A two-seater that will go for 240 miles on one tank of gas, hydrogen gas. In the race to develop the first affordable electric car, it's clear the innovators of the future will have to redesign the car from the ground up. Sebastian Peach thinks the major car companies will have problems responding to the new era of electric cars. I think there's the heritage, the, the, the history of where they've come from over the last hundred years, and it becomes quite difficult to change. Sebastian Peach would know all about that heritage. He's the great-grandson of Ferdinand Porsche, who designed the VW Beetle and founded the Porsche Car Company. Ironically, Ferdinand Porsche himself tried to design an electric car earlier in his career. Electric transportation is as old as the car. There was a sort of a battle between electric cars and combustion engines way back in the history of the automobile. Um, and there's always been electric cars, but they've always been sort of clunky and you know, batteries are big and heavy and they take a long time to recharge. River Simple's backers think it can change all that. They're betting the hydrogen fuel cells developed at Horizon will power their vehicles into the future. Horizon and River Simple have started at the lower level and said this is what we can do. It's a different approach. Trying to force the technology to do what it's not so good at is very expensive and requires a huge amount of research. Hugo Spowers is the founder of the company and chief designer. He's rethought every aspect of the car. A former racing driver, he's been described as a man in a hurry. Man in a hurry? Gosh, well, I, I, I suppose I'm, uh, I'm not very interested as, a, as an engineer or designer or anything in, in incremental optimization. I'm much more interested in, in big steps. Spowers used to design racing cars, but fuel cells made him rethink his career. I'd imagine that the only future for sustainable transport was, was better batteries, and that's the realm of big companies and big budgets and takes a long time, and it's not my world at all. But fuel cells, I realised actually the basic technology was good enough, and the real breakthroughs would come from systems integration. And systems integration is what motorsport is all about, and that's the realm of small teams and small budgets and happens very quickly, and that is my sort of world. Working with a small design and engineering team at the Silverstone Racetrack, Spowers started off with a clean slate. It's taken nine years from concept to test drive. The existing cars that we use today are highly optimised around the characteristics of combustion engines. And a fuel cell is not equivalent to a combustion engine. You can't just take a combustion engine out of a car and put in a fuel cell. It creates an awful lot of very significant technological barriers. A fuel cell doesn't pack the punch to make a car accelerate as quickly as a conventional combustion engine, but its makers say the River Simple car is so light and recaptures so much energy when braking that it requires only 20% of the power of a conventional car. Well, the whole car is made of carbon fibre and this, uh, the main structural body shell without the doors or the bonnet only weighs 34 kilos, uh, but it's immensely strong and uh, the vehicle efficiency is very, very tightly coupled to the weight, so, so the lighter we can make it, uh, the better. The River Simple car is essentially a hybrid. It switches between two different power systems. The power from the hydrogen fuel cells is used for cruising. Then when the car brakes, regenerative motors on each of the wheels recharge the ultra-capacitors, super-efficient batteries which provide the power thrust for acceleration without using up the hydrogen fuel. Because the vehicle is so light, you'll notice that the tyre is, is an extremely narrow tyre. It doesn't mean that you've got less grip, because the contact pressure is pretty much the same as a, as a normal car tyre, but it means you've got much lower rolling resistance, and also you don't need power braking systems and you don't need power-assisted steering systems. River Simple has not only rethought their car design, they've revamped their entire business strategy. While other auto companies cloak their R&D in utter secrecy, River Simple has made their car an open source project. Anyone from suppliers to customers can suggest modifications to its design. And you'll have four or five other people who are picking this up and there's a solution coming out of that. And before you know it, you will be driving that solution. It's being able to create something through the open source that's relevant locally. So a car in San Francisco to a car in Amsterdam is going to be very different because of the hills, because of cultural needs. 
With that grassroots perspective, River Simple doesn't see itself growing into a traditional automaker like GM or even Porsche. Hopefully we'll have partners who will understand this idea, entrepreneurs who will build these factories with their local understanding, create the right service for their local culture. And here's another departure from the traditional practices of the car industry. The River Simple car will be leased, not sold, to drivers who will pay a monthly fee that includes the cost of fuel and maintenance. They'll even be able to swap cars depending on their needs. A businessman who goes in alone to work in, uh, during the week and needs a big van on the weekend could swap over contracts quite happily and that will be part of, of their agreement. Uh, so it's, it's hugely flexible. River Simple plans to start a pilot programme in a small British city next year. The idea is that drivers will go to centrally located hydrogen refuelling stations to gas up. Each time they fill up the tank, they're good for another 240 miles. I live in the countryside, there are no motorways, it would be a perfect car uh, for us to use locally. You can have a single refuelling station in the centre of the city and 240 miles is more than a week's use of fuel, so going through the city centre once a week is an entirely practical proposition. River Simple wants to roll out a small fleet of about 50 cars. And by the spring of 2013 we hope to have a, a production facility operational which will be capable of a, a full volume of 5,000 vehicles per annum. But River Simple will have some pretty heavyweight competition. As fuel costs rise, electric cars make more and more sense. The disadvantages of gasoline have become brutally apparent. Um, when you get $4 uh, gas, then obviously that makes people think much harder about the alternatives. Already some of the major car companies have electric cars ready for launch. I'm talking about the Volt from GM, Renault Nissan has a whole range of electric vehicles, and these are perfectly drivable vehicles uh, that happen to be electric. Coming up, can a 150 foot long submersible rubber tube really be the answer to our energy needs? And our game plan is to be the leader in a brand new technology that nobody's ever thought about before.